Hello there, right, okay, uh, I've got a really quick top tip for you. If you're using LinkedIn events and then you want to invite people to the event, uh, which you would need to do, then basically there's a quick and easy way to select multiple people at the same time instead of going tick box, tick box, tick box, tick box. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I have set up this event, yeah, put my specs on. I set up this event on LinkedIn. Uh, it's our video Q&A event on the 5th of July. Come and ask us anything about video, using video and all, creating video and the rest of it. But now obviously I want to share it because I've only got one attendee and that's me. So I click on share and I click invite. Let me go a bit closer. So I click on share and I click invite. Okay, and what that does is it basically opens up this box that says invite. Now, at the moment, all I could do is I could go tickety tick 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 and all the rest of it. Yeah, and that's quite laborious. However, if I basically go to, let's have a look, locations. Let me just bring that in for you. If I go to locations and I say United Kingdom, show results, then what we see appears is this box here, which allows me to select all. Okay, good that, isn't it? So what I can do now, and I've got an even better tip, now obviously I need to scroll down, but if I scroll to the bottom, then it loads, and it loads, and I can keep turning the wheel, turning the wheel, turning the wheel, or if I press the center wheel button, I get my little scrolly uppy downy thing. If I then bring that down to the bottom, look, no hands. Okay, it's scrolling away quite happily for me. I'm doing nothing. No hands whatsoever. So now it's saying invite and it's scrolling through. It may blob and stop. I just do the same thing again. Now, I don't recommend that you try to invite too many people at once, quite simply because it doesn't like it. I think it's got a limit of a thousand anyway. So you, you might want to just let it run for a few. I think it does about 10 per scroll. So you might want to count how many scrolls it does and maybe get up to about 400. I'm going to stop it there for the purpose of this video. So I just click my mouse button again. And now if I tick the box and I leave it, it thinks about it. And there we are, 344 have been selected. So let's go a bit closer. I've got 344 selected. And then what I can do is I can say invite 344. Now. This is where it gets a little interesting because you'll see down here, let me go a bit closer again. I need to bring that into shot though, that it says something went wrong. Please try again later. Okay. Now I can tell you now, close that. So just close that and basically close this and then discard quite simply because it's linked in and it lies. So what will happen now, even though I closed the error message and I discarded it, those people will still get an invite from me. Okay. It's a glitch in LinkedIn. Don't keep trying to do it. Just do it the once and then that's it. Okay. So yeah. And that's the easiest way to actually invite people. And I'm not going to do any more now. And I'll probably do a follow up video on this saying, look, I've got all these people accepted. All right. OK, right. That's it. That's another great little tip from us at Clockwork Eye. And um, basically, it's just one of the things that we're helping our Video Creator Club members with. If you're interested in finding out more about creating and using video in your business, then why not take a look at our Video Creators Club where we give you ongoing support, a library of how to do things like that. 
uh, creators meeting once a month and access to our courses. So we do everything to help you understand, create and use video in your business. All right then, cheers then. Bye bye.